Hi, Amanda. Uh, number 13, let me just show you some of the reasoning that goes behind that. So you have, um, in parentheses, this four times r to the zero, close parentheses, then it's raised to the fourth power. Again, order of operations says if you can, do what's inside the parentheses first. We can't do the multiplication until we actually figure out what the exponent is. Since r is raised to the power of zero, we know that r to the power of zero turns into a one. So our problem turns into, um, in parentheses, this four times one, close parentheses, then raised to the fourth power. So once we've done the exponent inside the parentheses, we can now do the multiplication. Four times one is just is four. So that's four to the power of four. So that just means four times four, and then four times four. So I'm gonna just do them in pairs. Um, so I know that four times four is 16, and then four times four is 16. So if I can do 16 times 16, I'm home free. So 16 times 16, we know that six times six is 36, carry my three. Six times one is six, plus three is 96. And then one times six is six, and one times one is one. So six plus zero is six, nine plus six is five or 15, and carry the one, and the 256. So the solution should be 256. Maybe that helps you see what's going on there.